do not wait to strike till the iron is hot but make it hot by striking namaskar welcome to next i yes i hope you are doing well in this video we will cover major headlines of the hindu indian express and press information bureau so without wasting any time let's start today's discussion now recently supreme court of india ruled against caste based discrimination in prisons it condemned the segregation of prisoners work based on caste hierarchy and stigmatization of denotified tribes as habitual offenders the judgment also emphasized that caste based discrimination violates the constitution specifically article 15 and 17 which prohibits discrimination and untouchability the court also mandated a revision of central and state jail manuals within 3 months including removal of caste references in the prison records court underscored that state must prevent not perpetuate such discrimination now central government in a submission to the supreme court argued against criminalizing non consensual sexual acts by a husband with his wife as a rape the government stated that doing so could disrupt the institution of marriage as marriage is a unique relationship with expectation of sexual access between spouses it distinguished between non consensual sex within and outside marriage suggesting that application of rape laws to marriage would be excessively harsh the case relates to petition challenging exception 2 of section 375 of the IPC which exempts non consensual sex by a husband with his wife if she is over 15 the government argued that while a husband has no right to violate his wife's consent and there are other legal provisions that addresses violation of consent within marriage it emphasized the need for a future law to balance protecting a woman's consent with the rights of the potential accused husband next article talks about leopard population because recently odisha's leopard population has increased by 22% rising from 5 68 to 696 between 2022 and 2024 talking about leopards they are recognized by their beautiful black spotted coats and they are distributed across africa and asia within nine subspecies varying slightly in appearance and biology they are known for their adaptability and they inhabit a range of environments including tropical rainforest temperate forest and grasslands but they avoid deserts and mangroves like sundarbans leopard is the smallest of big cats and they are nocturnal hunters in india leopards are found across various forest types sharing territory with tigers in 17 states and ranging from the indus river to the lower brahmaputra and i've seen a red list of threatened species classifies them as vulnerable species next article talks about swachh bharat mission which is a country wide campaign launched by the central government on october 2nd 2014 to eliminate open defecation and create open defecation free villages the mission aimed to achieve an open defecation free india by october 2019 coinciding with the 150th birth anniversary of mahatma gandhi and in 2021 government launched its second edition committing to make all cities garbage free cities by 2026 it also has a vision of 100% source segregation door to door collection and scientific management of all fractions of waste including safe disposal in scientific landfills it aims to remediate all legacy dump sites and convert them into green zones the mission has also made provisions for scientific landfills to dispose of untreated inert waste and process rejects in order to prevent fresh dump sites being created now united states commission on international Religious Religious freedom has released a report on India indicating a decline in religious freedom conditions. It highlighted that religious freedom in India has deteriorated throughout 2024, especially around national elections. The report highlights the strengthening of discriminatory laws, including state-level anti-conversion and anti-terrorism law, and implementation of the 2019 Citizenship Amendment Act. The report recommended that U.S. State Department designate India as country of particular concern due to severe violations of religious freedom. In this context, India rejected the report's finding. Now, Union Cabinet approved. classical language status for marathi bengali assamese pali and prakrit india previously recognized six classical languages which include tamil telugu malayalam kannad sanskrit and odia tamil was the first to receive this status in 2004 followed by sanskrit in 2005 and do you know friends once a language is notified as a classical language the education ministry provides certain benefits to promote it which includes two major annual international awards for scholar of eminence in the said languages and university grants commission will be requested to establish professional chairs for classical languages in central universities now union cabinet decided to merge all central agriculture schemes into two new schemes which are pradhan mantri rashtriya krishi vikas yojana and krishi unnati yojana the pradhan mantri rashtriya krishi vikas yojana will promote sustainable agriculture and krishi unnati yojana will address food security and agricultural self sufficiency both schemes will be implemented through state governments and they aim to rationalize various schemes to avoid duplication ensure convergence and provide flexibility to states the scheme will address emergent agricultural challenges including nutritional security sustainability climate resilience value chain development and private sector participation the cabinet also approved the national mission on edible oils for boosting domestic oil seed production and achieving self reliance 
in edible oils. Next article focuses upon Chagos Islands because recently Britain agreed to cede sovereignty of Chagos Islands to Mauritius, ensuring the legal status of Daigo Garisha military base. India played a supportive role in negotiations and welcomed the agreement, viewing it as a step towards completing Mauritius decolonization. Talking about the historical context, Britain has controlled the island since 1814, having detached from Mauritius in 1965 to create a British Indian Ocean Territory. Talking about Chagos Archipelago, it consists of 58 islands located approximately 500 kilometers south of the Maldives in the Indian Ocean. Now, Nepal, India and Bangladesh signed a triple trade agreement to facilitate export of surplus electricity from Nepal to Bangladesh via India. Nepal will export electricity from June 15 to November 15 each year and the rate for electricity has been set 6.4 cents per unit. Next and last headline talks about International Energy Efficiency Hub because recently Union Cabinet chaired by the Prime Minister has approved the signing of a letter of intent for India to join International Energy Efficiency Hub which is a global platform aimed at fostering collaboration and promoting energy efficiency worldwide, reinforcing India's commitment to sustainable development and reducing greenhouse gas emissions. This hub was established in 2020 and it is a successor to the International Partnership for Energy Efficiency Corporation of which India was a member. The hub includes governments, international organizations and private sector and private sector entities sharing knowledge and innovative solutions. And as of July 2024, it has 16 member countries which includes Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Canada, China, Denmark and others. So with this, let's conclude today's discussion. Thanks for listening and for regular updates, you can follow us on various social media platforms. Oh, 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 oh,